What is up, guys? Welcome to my episode 4 reaction to Wayward Guide for the Untrained Eye, presented by the Tin Can Brothers. Uh, so far, it has been really fun. It has been very well done. Production value has been super high. Uh, if you've been watching along, uh, as far as the last episode goes, I think we were introduced to two characters that are going to be pretty big in the story uh, moving forward. In, uh, God, Silas, I believe his name is, the guy that runs the silver mine, and Sybilis Silver II, the guy who works at the bank. Uh, I, yeah, especially uh, the, the gentleman that works at the bank. I think he is going to be really big, just because I think he can be easily persuaded to tell the truth about the werewolves. Or maybe he even knows about the murder. I don't know, but I, I think he's going to be a wealth of information. Um, I still think, though, that pretty much the entire town is werewolves. Uh, or at least the hefty majority of them. Also, we can't forget Paul. Paul ended the last episode in really what appeared to be dire straits. He was at the Tarot Reader's Pavilion. And all of a sudden we heard what sounded like a werewolf snarl and saw what appeared to be a werewolf-like claw in the shadows. So, I, yeah, Paul cannot die. I refuse to believe that that is a thing, that that is even remotely possible because he is so funny and so great. Uh, so I really hope that something happens that saves Paul's life, but I guess time will tell. Um, but if you guys are watching this for the first time, uh, please refrain from posting spoilers either down in the comments or in the live chat. I uh, really appreciate that. Nobody likes getting things spoiled. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into episode four on the trail. It seems he suffered extreme lacerations to his chest and back. The swelling's gone down significantly, but boy's lucky to be alive. Oh no! Does he need a transfusion? There was... So much blood. I don't think so. Prism bore the brunt of the attack, Sheriff, and I think most of it was hers. Oh. Why is this drunk guy dressed like a doctor? Oh my god, Paul, you scared the shit out of me. Well, well. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome back, Paul. I'm uh, Dr. Henry Edwards. Tell me, do you remember anything Ow. from the accident? I mean, it's kind of fuzzy. I, I mean, I think I remember playing tarot cards or something. God, this guy reeks. Oh, not to worry. It's just sterilizing alcohol. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Ow. How? Oh, oh, my head. Go on. It'll pass. Oh. It'll pass. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I remember Prism. The dead woman. Oh, she's dead. Oh, no. Better than dead. I conducted a thorough oh. examination, and it is my professional and expert opinion that she hid all of her most explosive fireworks behind her sharpest crystals. So. What? What? Very common with women her age. No, Artemis. This was an animal. Okay. This was a werewolf. Shh. Not the time. <sighs> Listen, Paul. Your wounds are healing remarkably fast, but... Rest is key. A lolly! That's right. <laughs> Good boy. Uh, I trust you'll wrap that up nicely, right? If you need me, I'll be having a drink at the dead can... My office. My office. Ah. Oh. Jeez. I don't think we should be ingesting anything that comes from that man. Holy shit! Okay, so there actually was a werewolf. Paul got messed up. And the hippie witch died. Oh no! The body count is piling up. Which way to town hall? Keep going that way. End of the road. <laughs> God. I do hope we start soon. I, I do hate to be late. Uh, yeah, it'll be fun as long as we get like a TGI Friday or something. I do. 
<laughs> so what's on the docket today? God has taken this poor soul's <laughs> oh, no. voice, but perhaps with some prayer. Well, he doesn't speak by choice. You know what? Just all right. Howdy, y'all. No. The meeting of the Show Connor me, Creek Town Council talking. is called to order. Um, oh, before we get started, uh, we have a very special guest here today. Our mayor has decided to attend, so uh, we just have a, a small token of our appreciation that we'd like to show her. So, come. Oh my god. You elected a dog as your mayor? It started out as a pretty funny joke, <laughs> but then we took it too far. <laughs> Don't worry, she's more of a figurehead. The council makes <laughs> most of the decisions. I would hope so. Oh, that was just heartwarming. All right. Okay, now the second order of business is... A blessing. Sit down, Reverend Stillwater. <laughs> a moment of silence for the recently deceased, then. Excellent. A prayer. Uh, well, moving on to official business. Uh, since the candidate Ryan Reynolds has recently been murdered, died, uh, passed on, um, the other candidate for the empty town council seat has been left to run unopposed. And in accordance with local ordinance 2474, if no opposing candidate is present, there shall be no need for a vote. Uh, we therefore are happy, honored, delighted, required, to swear in Miss Truman Hensley to the new town council. Uh, Miss Hensley, would you like to say a few words before we do it? Uh, make it happen? Uh, commence? Thank you so much, Council Member Silver, for that eloquent introduction. When I first laid eyes upon Connor Creek two years ago... She did it. <laughs> I knew that I had found a town like no other. Never in all my years had I met folks as hardworking yet warm, simple yet sophisticated. As a young girl, my father instilled in me our family's greatest creed. Above all else, never settle. And I see the spirit of my family here in you. As the backbone of our community, small businesses have worked to create a rich and thriving local culture. But that doesn't mean that we should scoff at the value of corporations entering our small economy. Let's bridge the divide between us. The way forward is together. And even though I find myself in the unfortunate position of winning this election as the result of tragedy, I feel extremely blessed that so many of you banded together in support of the Truman for Connor Creek campaign. Together, we will restore this town to its former glory and make the original founders and the Reynolds boy proud. The post it note. No, 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 to heck with that. I grew up here and I dedicated my life to serving these folks. Don't pretend like you know us, okay? You don't. Okay? Mm hmm Then why don't you run in your brother's stead? Hmm? Sheriff Reynolds for town council. Okay. Um. Okay. I'll be replacing my brother on the ballot. Tomorrow's election is back on. So, I'll see you at the polls. Oh, all right. Meeting ad adjourned. Okay.
Paul! You look fit as a fiddle. Wanna help me open this? Oh, no. Oh, just in time to try my quiche. Or would you prefer raw steak? My diagnosis is you're a good boy. A hungry, hungry good boy. Yeah, I'm a good boy. You want Lolly? You're all better. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. And also, very hungry. Okay. Um, I'll have Quinn bring you something to eat. <sighs> okay. I'm, um, pretty sure I did something real dumb. Artie. Remember when car troubles were the worst of our problems? <sighs> We in over our heads. I'm gonna get a drink. I think I'm a werewolf now. Quinn, could I get an order of fries or something for Paul? Fries? Jeez, um, truffle fries with some sort of avocado aioli? C'est magnifique. <laughs> Madison, I am so sorry for throwing you under the bus earlier. What? No way! You threw me on top of the bus, and I'm riding that all the way to victory. Are you sure it's this is the attitude. safest course of action? I mean, we don't know yet what happened to Ryan, and that same person may have targeted Prism. Artemis, I am the law of this town. I'm fully capable of investigating these murders and running a last-minute campaign for town council. Plus, I'm almost done with my victory speech. Madison, Minor Mole is backing Truman's campaign. When big money is involved, people get ruthless. I'm not sure if you've been up against anything like this before. You're right about that. She has it. Barkeep, can I get three flutes of your finest champagne? <laughs> this town. Hmm. I bet you're pissed your puppet doesn't have a clean shot at the council anymore. Oh, on the contrary. We're actually looking forward to crushing you tomorrow. Soon we'll all just be drowning in silver. So it's a pity that your brother couldn't be here to see the mining begin. What was his name? Uh, Brian? It was Bert. Bert Reynolds was my father. <laughs> and he taught my brother and me to stand up to bullies like you. Now, I'm not sure if you had anything to do with Brian's death, but I swear to gosh, I'm gonna find out. And tomorrow, when the good people of this town vote me into office, it's gonna be that much easier, so you better go and pack up your bags and get the heck out of Connor Creek, because your fancy-drinking, too-clean, cowboy, boot-wearing ass isn't wanted here. Damn. You know, I would say to smile more, but, uh, I like this look on you. You too, actually. Little Miss Campaign Manager. So much for our impartial journalism. <laughs> I'm gonna get some fresh air. Oh, are you Terry Gross?
God, that was amazing. <clears throat> but Artemis just put a giant target on their back. As if there wasn't one already. Okay, you've seen what you've got to see. Get out. Go. Leave. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So we knew that werewolves existed. We knew. We, we knew that. We didn't know for sure, but we were pretty damn sure. So. Shit. Does getting attacked by a werewolf turn you into a werewolf? How do you become a werewolf? It's got to be by that. Oh, my God. Is Paul going to be a werewolf? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's skip it. I just, I don't understand why Artemis did that. Why she had to be the one to stand up and be like, you run against this person. Like, before that, they were just kind of, like, Artemis and Paul, they were just kind of a minor inconvenience. It was just a couple of podcasters that happened to be there during this big election. And when Paul was attacked, he was barely wounded. Like, that was a message. Like, if that werewolf wanted to kill Paul, he would be dead. So that was kind of, in my opinion, that was like a, hey, get out of Connor Creek kind of a thing. And now Artemis is apparently the campaign manager for the sheriff to running against uh, the the Silver Mines like puppet, like the Silver Mines own candidate for town council. It's just it's it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, also, what is also unfortunate, Paul is probably a werewolf. I don't remember exactly how werewolf like how you become a werewolf, but I'm pretty sure it is through, like, the bite of one. So, I mean, if we're playing by traditional werewolf rules here, Paul is probably a werewolf. So they've got about a month to, like, solve this all, because there was a, the full moon that night, uh, which is probably why he had that fever dream, because he didn't fully transform. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I'm starting to wish I knew more werewolf lore. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I really hope that Paul isn't a werewolf, but from that crazy fever dream, plus the fact he was attacked, maybe not bit, maybe just scratched, by a werewolf really makes me scared that things are not going to be going very well for Paul in the future, and I really hope that I'm wrong. I hope that that's not the case. Uh, Truman Hensley, though, uh, the, the woman who was running against Ryan Reynolds, uh, I love her. She is fantastic. Uh, I just worked my way through New Girl for the first time, the so was Zoe Deschanel, and she is giving me a hardcore Fawn Moscato vibe, who was, like, the city council woman that Schmidt dated for a period of time. I loved her. I thought she was so funny. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna, definitely getting big her vibes from, uh, the Truman Hensley character, which... I love Paul's fever dream though it was very reminiscent of when Joey took mushrooms uh, during the finale of spilled milk there I think it was a four-part uh, little web series that they did 
quite a few years ago, which was great because that was really well done. So we know that they can make the tripping fever dream type scenario work on film really well. Uh, and it did. God, I love Paul so much. He better not be a fucking werewolf. Um, but I might have been wrong in one of my earlier kind of uh, things that I said. Uh, or I was, one of my predictions was uh, Darren Chris's character was the only person in the town that didn't want the silver mine. But when uh, Silas came in at the end and Dylan just like flipped him off, like, fuck you, man. Maybe the town isn't as high on the silver mine expansion as I thought that they originally were. So I, I don't know. That'll be different because now I'm thinking they might want to stop it to prevent the werewolves from getting into town. But that doesn't make sense because the werewolf already got into town to kill Darren Chris's character, Ryan, uh, as well as the tarot card reader, Hippie Witch, and attack Paul. So I don't know about that. I still like my idea of the town essentially being all werewolves and they want the mine to mine all the silver out of the hills so they can go and see the world and not be trapped in Connor Creek anymore. Uh, I, 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 I haven't been proven wrong on that yet. So as far as I'm concerned, that is still my, my best, uh, idea for what's going to happen here. Um, but yeah, no, I am loving this. Uh, and of course the end of this episode. So werewolves do exist. We know this for a fact. We know that there are at least two of them and they frequent the bar because those tracks were coming right out of the dead canary. And then she followed them who knows how far into the woods but okay so there's somebody that frequent the dead canary we know that there are two wolves and all that we know right now is that dylan is not one of those wolves Corey is not one of those wolves the sheriff is not one of those wolves and neither is silas because we saw all four of them and we wouldn't have time like to they they wouldn't have been able to get back to their house uh without mary kate or Artemis like seeing them like everybody that was at the bar in my eyes is no longer a suspect at least for being the two wolves that we were introduced to at the end of this um god I I love this I wish I knew how far out of town uh she saw those werewolves like in relationship to the silver deposits and the silver mine but you know obviously I don't um but yeah this has been awesome so far I think there's 10 parts so we're almost halfway so yeah, in my eyes, we got a month before Sam, or not Sam, sorry, before Paul goes crazy, becomes a werewolf, and probably kills Artemis because they're probably going to be right by each other. Um, I really hope that's not the case. And I hope Artemis doesn't have to like, kill her, like kill her brother because he's a, a crazy werewolf. Oh, this could take so many turns. Either way, yeah, Tin Can, you've done it again, and I cannot wait to see what the next six episodes have in store. Uh, but yeah, let me know, like, your guys' fan theories down in the comments. I love reading that kind of stuff. It's so much fun. Uh, otherwise, I will see you very soon for part five. Sorry, episode five. You know what I mean.